Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, chain of responsibility design pattern and uh, this design pattern falls under the category of uh, behavioral design pattern. First we will see the explanation of uh, chain of responsibility design pattern. This is the first explanation I will uh, read out. Avoid coupling the sender of the request to its receiver by giving more than one receiver object a chance to handle the request. Chain the receiving objects and pass the request along the chain until an object handles it okay this is the first explanation i will read out the second explanation the chain of responsibility pattern creates a chain of receiver objects for a request and this is third explanation in this pattern normally each receiver contains reference to another receiver if one receiver cannot handle the request then it passes the same request to the next receiver and so on okay and fourth and final explanation one receiver in the chain handles the request or one or more receivers in the chain handles the request okay so these are the explanation uh, i will uh, show one diagram and uh, then uh, i will explain this statement one by one so that you will understand very clearly so here uh, you can see the client okay so usually clients send request to the uh, server right so you can see client uh, and it send request and uh, here you can see chain of uh, receivers and uh, it has uh, multiple receivers uh, and it has uh, chained uh, together you can see receiver 1 and receiver 2 receiver 3 and uh, here you can see receiver 1 has a reference to receiver 2 and receiver 2 has a reference to receiver 3 and so on so like that you can uh, chain uh, multiple receivers and make the chain of uh, receivers okay and uh, here you can see clients and request to the chain of receivers in the chain of receiver uh, first uh, receiver is receiver 1 okay um, so request comes to the receiver 1 then uh, the receiver 1 will check whether it can handle the request or not if it can handle the request it will handle the request and then it will check whether the further processing for the uh, request is needed or not if further processing is needed for the request then it will send it to the second receiver so you can see receiver 1 has uh, reference to receiver 2 right so using this reference it will pass the request to the second receiver then the second receiver will uh, check whether it can handle the request or not if it can handle the request it will handle the request then it will check uh, uh, further processing for the particular request is needed or not if it is needed then it will pass to the next receiver in the chain which is receiver 3 if it is not needed then it won't uh, pass the request to the next receiver okay this is how it works and uh, Now I will read out uh, this explanation one by one so that you will understand this statements uh, very clearly. Avoid coupling the sender of a request to its receiver. So normally how we will do is uh, there will be one sender will be there and only one receiver will be there. But in, in case of uh, chain of responsibility uh, there will be only, only one sender but there will be multiple receivers will be there and any one of the receivers or one or more receivers will handle the request. So I will read out this sentence again. Avoid coupling the sender of the request to its receiver by giving more than one receiver object a chance to handle the request. So that is what we are doing, right? And chain the receiving objects and pass the request along the chain until an object handles it. So request will be uh, passed along with this uh, chain, right? So any one of the receiver or one or more receiver will handle the request and uh, second uh, explanation is the chain of uh, responsibility pattern creates chain of receiver objects for a request so for a single request there will be multiple uh, uh, receivers will be chained together which will handle the request and third explanation is in this pattern normally each receiver contains reference to another receiver you can see right receiver one has reference to receiver uh, two and receiver 2 has reference to receiver 3 and so on and if one receiver cannot handle the request then it passes the same request to the 
next receiver and so on so suppose say a request uh, comes to the receiver one uh, it will check whether uh, uh, the receiver one can handle the request or not if uh, it cannot handle then it will pass the request to the next receiver in the chain and uh, this receiver will check whether i can handle the request or not if it can handle the request then uh, it will handle the request and if for further processing is needed then it will send the request to the next receiver in the chain so like that it will work and there is a two scenario the first scenario is one receiver in the chain handles the request suppose a request comes to the receiver one suppose receiver one cannot handle the request then it will send the request to the receiver two then uh, receiver two will check whether receiver two can handle the request or not if it can handle it will handle it once uh, the request is handled then it stops here it won't send the request to the uh, next receiver which is receiver three okay that is the first scenario one receiver in the chain handles the request if uh, any one of the receiver handle the request then it won't send the request to the next receiver in the chain and another scenario is one or more receivers in the chain handles the request meaning uh, request comes to the receiver one and receiver one will check whether it can handle the request or not if it can handle then it will handle then it will check uh, the request uh, needed further processing or not if it is needed then the request will be sent to the receiver 2 and receiver 2 will check whether uh, receiver 2 can handle the request and if it can handle it will handle the request uh, then it will check further processing is needed or not if it is needed then it will send the request to the uh, next receivers so in this case uh, multiple receiver will handle the request okay so that is what mentioned here one or more receivers in the chain handles a request and uh, this is about uh, chain of responsibility design pattern introduction and uh, i have created a separate video for chain of responsibility design pattern uh, some real time example chain of responsibility design pattern class diagram and uh, chain of responsibility design pattern implementation and i have provided some sample code okay so you can log into my channel and watch those uh, videos to understand more about uh, this design pattern and uh, this is about uh, chain of responsibility design pattern introduction and thanks for watching bye